Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another video, and today I have a new star baseball video where I'm going to do a game overview and an informal review. This game came out, I believe, on Black Friday, at least in the U.S. market. So it's less than a week old. The same development company that developed Retro Bowl made new star baseball. They also have new star soccer. So I know there's probably a lot of soccer fans out there as well. And if that's your background, it's the same development team for that. And basically, with today's video, my goal is to play the game. I'm probably going to play one or two games in this video. So just so you guys can see how the game works and get my thoughts and my feedback on it as somebody who, for many of my longer viewers and subscribers now has played mobile baseball games for many, many years. Of course, MLB Perfect Inning, the game that I've featured the most on my channel, but I even have some old throwback nine innings going back to 2011 and 2016. So I've played mobile baseball games for a long time. I have a lot to say. I'm going to try to be fair about things, but knowing the developer, I do have a positive opinion of the developer in general based on Retro Bowl, and even though I haven't played it on YouTube, I have played off-camera, off-stream, some new Star Soccer, and enjoyed that. So I'll admit, I'm coming in with a favorable opinion, and there's some things I do and don't like about this game, but... Before I go into the actual game, let's look at this main screen. So you have the player. You actually start as an 18-year-old. I'm at a 20-year-old, so this is my third full season, again, in less than a week. So I'm not playing the game as much as some people, but I'm playing it a decent amount. Kind of cool. Okay, the nationality. I chose American. It switched it to Chinese. Don't know why, but... The current teams and affiliates, credit to New Star Baseball. They don't have the licensing, so technically these are not minor league and major league teams. But if you look it up, there's the Port Charlotte Mariners affiliated with Tampa Bay. If you look, there's a high class A team in Charlotte affiliated with the Tampa Bay Rays. So they did a great job at doing unofficial structuring for the different tiers in this game. I like how they keep track of your season and career stats. You can see mine, probably not the best, but hopefully not the worst. There's pitching as well, fielding. Fielding seems a little bit more difficult in game than in real life, but again, I'm going to get to more of those features. So you have your career stats, you have your achievements, and then you have trophies if they've been won. We did win a lower league C star player. Okay, we got lower league D star player. Oh, we didn't win the lower league D finals. That's right. We got upset in the championship last year, but then I promoted myself up to see. The game will tell you if you should promote or not. It told me not to promote, but I'm like, I want to promote. So I did do the promotion. You can boost your skills, you can boost relationships, and you can buy things for your lifestyle. The lifestyle boosts will boost your lifestyle rating. You have to repair them every so often. Or like property will increase your recovery. So there's some good features here. I like all of that. Let's do a skill drill. Let's do batting. Um, to me, hitting... Batting, it's the most fun. Got to hit it to right field. There we go. First try, I'm going to get a plus three stat boost. I like that. And then we have to use energy drinks to boost our energy. That's fine. Got to spend some of these credits to get more energy drinks too. So I'll do that. Now we're going to jump into our first game. Shows you your matchup. So we're playing the Tampa Mantas. If we look at the league, the team I'm on is 16 and 0. If we look at the ratings, we've got a squad that's good at everything except for pitching, and our opponents are only good at pitching. 
interesting. But that being said, we're going to continue. There's some buffs you can use. You get these cards. You get the cards to upgrade skills and relationships. After each game, you choose what you want to get. Each of these cards have different boosts. They kind of give you different in-game scenarios. So that's pretty cool. Fairly dynamic. You pick up to three that you want to use. Now this one that I have five of, I never get the opportunity to use. But once you pick the three, you hit X, that locks it in. You can control your game speed in the upper left. I made it the slowest. I'll, I normally play pretty quick. There we go. So that's a fly ball scenario. And what I did, I dragged my glove to catch the ball, and it worked. Now again, sometimes... As you saw, by my 87% fielding percentage, it's not an automatic play or an automatic out. And that's where, when I was mildly frustrated by the fielding, that's one thing I meant, is just the conversion rate seems a bit low. But here we are hitting now. So every hitting appearance, you start in a two-strike count. So if you swing and miss, that's the end of your at-bat. You only get one strike. You don't get three. We're going to go and try to hit here. The other thing you'll notice, you have to wait until the baseball is full size, like almost over the plate to actually swing. You don't swing early and try to anticipate the ball coming in. That's a little bit weird, but we got a double to center. What you may or may not see the rest of this video, sometimes the power doesn't seem the most consistent depending on lining up the bat pretty much the same way every time. I wish there was a way to know that or to say like, hey, I'm tired. I'd rather do a contact swing, just get a single, or hey, it's early in the game, I'm fresh, let's go power swing, or hey, we have the bases loaded. You know, have some situational baseball, but again, very nitpicky. Now with the fielding, you have to get to the ball and throw it to second base before the runner gets to second. What I'm going to say and what I'm going to show you, well, I might make a guide video on this if you want, but you've got to charge in almost all the time. As soon as you get the ball, you're immediately throwing it. There, I hit the relay. We get the relay. We get the out. Sometimes you can throw it directly to second base and have enough time to get the play there. All right, second hitting appearance. And we got on top of that a little. It's hit to center. But it's going to count as a ground out. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Because admittedly it wasn't great contact. But I got the ball into the outfield. So it feels like it should have been an out. Okay. That's my frustration with the outfield. I barely missed the ball. And it clipped off my glove. It gave me an error. And it's like a, it counts against my fielding percentage. Um, but back to the hitting. At the same time, if I'm hitting 545, do I really need more hits counted for me? Probably not. So then for pitching, you swipe to get spin on the ball. Then you tap in the circle. When you tap in the circle, it will then, you know, based on the spin, try to get the ball. You want to get in that white zone of the strike zone. And I just missed. It's always a three ball count. Well, full count, really. So a strike, you get the out. A ball, you don't get it. Base running, we got to just swipe the screen repeatedly. Here we go. Taken off. Now, the base coach lies. He says it's easy and very easy. We're going to get thrown out at third. Yeah, not even close. But those red circles are what I should have been paying attention to and what I'd recommend everyone else pays attention to. If you're playing this game and you're wondering, are you going to make it? Okay, there we go. Got the strike there, got the strike out. Now, if you throw in the strike zone but not in that white zone, it's going to be contacted, so to say, for a base hit. And that normally results in runs being given up. Now, there we go, slightly under it. That's driven just to the left of center. Anything that hits the wall is a double. Anything that doesn't hit the wall is a single. Over the wall, of course, is a home run. I don't think I've ever seen a triple. I don't know how you would get a triple. That's a question. But there we go. Second and third in the eighth, we rip a double to right center. That should be two runs in. And now in the ninth, our final opportunity of the game, a fly ball. We catch it. 
not bad overall. And now we get to the post game. We won the game. Let's go. I think there's six different character looks you can go. Now it's going to rate for each skill. And then it gives you an overall rating. We get a 6.1. That's not too bad. I feel like sometimes the rating's been a little bit harsh. We'll try one more game right after this. Now, 10 days of rest. You can see the four properties I have give me an extra 4% stamina. Now for our reward. You can get batting and running, skill boost cards, fielding and pitching, skill boost cards, relationship skill boost cards, or buffs. I'm going to get buffs here. Now, I did have an ad pop up. Unlike Retro Bowl, there are ads in this game, but they're not too bad by any means. Now, this next game's an exhibition game. They're a team from a lower league. We better win this one, or we're going to get chewed out. There's dilemmas. If you're familiar with New Star Soccer, you know this, or even Retro Bowl, you know how dilemmas work. In this case, whichever one you pick is going to be happy. The one you don't pick is going to be mad. I'm going to go fans. I don't want the manager down at an 82, but it's better than having the fans down in the 70s. Now, this is interesting because we're from the higher league, but the lower league team is rated better. That's strange, but okay. This is what you need to know when you compare the teams. Because we're in a higher division, lower stars in a higher division is better than more stars in a lower division. We should beat this team. Let's load into things. Pick our cards. I probably should read what the cards say, but I don't really feel like it. So here we go. Bases loaded, one out. Hit that. That is crushed to center. That should be a double. And I think, obviously, that's at least two runs. Okay, base running scenario. So it's home plate easy, but pay attention to the red circle. It's closing quick. I think I can get there. It's going to be close. Run, 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 run. We get there. I completely ignore the base coaches, and I only focus on those red circles. And really, I'm looking at how quickly they're closing for the distance I'm running. Okay, fly a ball. Caught it. And we got a double play with our boost card. That's cool. Hitting again. No one on. Two out. That is smoke to center. That's probably a long single. Yep, that's a long single. Now we're going to do some base running. They're saying third base is very risky. Home plate insanely risky. Let's just check in at second. I probably did not have third. Now, I don't like that. It demoted my base running. Because I only want one base. But if I went the second base and got thrown out, I would have been demoted too. So I had no chance to have a positive base running ranking. And, like, the game just punishes me for it. Alright, now there we go. Fielding. Going to throw it directly to second. In that case, we get the out. We're generally playing very well. Uh, now, you can drink energy mid-game. Last game I didn't. I was at 72. Right now I'm at 29. I'd get pulled out of the game early. We're going to drink an energy drink so we can make it through the game. Runner on second here. Smack that to left. Is that a home run? That is a home run, yes. So we're now up 13 to nothing like we should be. Again, hopefully you guys can see the inconsistencies in power. Maybe I'm just blind to it. If I'm blind to it, let me know in the comments. We make another catch here. Again, this team is a little bit below us, so we're definitely going to have a great performance. But hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing some gameplay. That's a double high off the wall. Makes it 14 to nothing. Here we go, another fielding chance. Again, it seems like... You almost always just charge in. We're going to throw that to second, and we nail him. Slightly offline throw, but plenty of time. All right, some base running here. Let's try to get to third, because we know we're going to get demoted if we stay at second. Swipe, 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 swipe. Okay, now we do actually get to third, so that better be a huge increase. 
for completing a risky base running maneuver. It probably isn't. We actually didn't pitch at all that game, but let's see. Okay, I didn't mean to skip it, but we got a perfect 10 on the game. We'll be player of the game. They have some interview scenarios. It's basically just Simon Says. All right, so we had our hand full. Um, oh, ignore the blue. It's only the green. It's been a roller coaster ride one game at a time. And it's almost always five. Once you get past the intro ones, they're like two or three or four. But there we go. Give me my player of the game trophy. There is the star player trophy. And that is, you know, more or less what the game's like. I just skipped over it, but you do get those coins after every game. You regain stamina based on how many off days you have. We'll go with more buffs. And, you know, that's pretty much it for the game. And then how you develop depends on how you manage your coins and your stamina and boosting stats. You can buy equipment if you want to. It looks like that's generally real money, or you can get some lower tier equipment for coins. Sometimes the game gives you equipment to try out. That's the only equipment I've used so far. And then the last thing, you can get sponsors as you increase your lifestyle, and the sponsors give you more coins. So, you know, it gives you incentive to invest in all of the areas of the game. And how about that? While I look at the sponsor screen, they actually give me an additional sponsorship. You can renegotiate your contract, certainly between seasons. I'll see if I can do that quick. He's not willing to. It made him mad. So don't try to renegotiate too often. Again, I did it for the sake of the video. But I think that does it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, at least getting an overview of the game. Again, defense... Overall, I feel like the game's a good challenge. I feel like hitting, it's a little wonky. Uh, defense, the error rate's a bit high, but again, how do you keep the game fresh? You maybe don't make it a pure baseball sim. For what the game is, I enjoy it greatly. It's very fun. I'd recommend you try it out. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more mobile gaming content. I play a lot of Retro Bowl. If you guys want, I'm thinking about doing some gameplay guides for this. You know, so like how to hit well, how to pitch well. I obviously showed a little bit of that in this video, but to really do a focus video on each of those features, if that's something you would want to see, let me know in the comments. If there's anything else you'd like to know more about in the game, let me know as well. I'll try to answer those questions either in a video or just in the comments or possibly both. But with all of that being said, that's going to do it for now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.